Hi everyone, how are you? Everybody okay? Um, happy Thursday. It's a beautiful sunny day again here in Dennis and I am in my dining room again like I was yesterday. It's just me today, no Drew, um, because I'm not going to be doing any sort of sewing so I'm just going to, I need, I only need one hand for this so um, I've given Drew the day off. <laughs> um, so yeah, please do say hello if you're there. Let me know if anybody's watching. Um, I hope you all are. Anybody out there? Anybody there? Nobody at the moment. Oh, Sarah Jane's there. Hi, honey. How are you feeling today? Everybody okay there? Cool. Um, and Sean's here as well. Hi, guys. Um, hopefully some of others of you will be joining me soon. Hi. Hi, Jackie. How are you, lovely? Um, so, yeah, so I'm in the dining room again, obviously staying away from... Hi, Maggie. Um, staying away from the shop as much as we can. Um, I did go over earlier just to pack some online deliveries um, and they'll be going out in the post to you. Um, so, so yeah, it's just me today. Um, Drew's um, Drew's doing the garden. You know, I said yesterday about I wanted the garden done. So, uh, so yeah, him and Josh out in the sunshine in the front garden getting my jungle sorted. Um, oh, good. I'm glad you're better, Sarah. Um, she's been had horrendous cold and uh, not feeling great at all. Um, so yeah, so the boys are, are tackling Jumanji. So what I thought we'd do today is just take you through some of the new products we've had in um, and maybe answer any questions. So um, if you guys have got any questions, please do comment away and I will try and answer as many as I can for you. Um, so what I thought I'd start with is, um, these are on the website, I got Alex to put them on yesterday, um, so what I thought I'd start with is some of the new wools we've got coming in, because we've done quite a bit of fabric and all recently, so I thought I'd uh, show all you crochet and knit that we've got coming in. So I'm going to flip the phone round and hopefully you guys will be able to see all this. Okay, so oh, there's, uh, there's all my very messy shelves. <laughs> so um, the first ones I'm going to show you are these new ones in from James Brett. Oh, good. I'm glad it arrived, Ali. Hope you enjoy it. What are you going to make? A plan or are you just uh, just a uh, little bit? <laughs> so uh, what I thought I'd do is show you these new twinkle prints uh, from James C. Brett. So they're the baby twinkle prints. They are a double knit. And they're 100 gram balls and hopefully you can see the colors of these they're absolutely delightful really really pretty so it's a very very pale pale pink which has got like a little fleck in it um, and they've all got this slightly iridescent yeah it's gorgeous they've got this slightly iridescent um glitter running through it but it's not um rough at all it's really lovely really lovely and soft so we've got a pink one, okay, and that is shade uh, 24. Um, and then we've got this one, which is white, which has got like a little purple, mint green and pink fleck in it. And I've actually been knitting in that, and I'll show you that in a minute. And that's shade 26. Uh, then we've got this beautiful, like all colours of pink in it. So it goes right through from dark, and that's like a very, it will knit up like stripes, that one. So it, it like self-regulates. Okay, and that one is shade 20. And then this rainbow sparkle is just beautiful. So it's a very, very subtle rainbow. It's not it's not got any red in it, but it's got sort of pinks through to oranges and purples and blues. And again, it's got that iridescent glitter in it. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, and that one is shade uh, 22. Okay, so all of those are on our website. Okay, they are. Oh, I've forgotten the price of them. I can't remember for the life of me what the price of them is. They're around the two pound something, might be three pound mark. Okay, um, but they are 100 gram balls and they all double knit in. So you would just use your normal four mil um, hooks, um, hooks or needles with them. Um, and I actually started knitting up yesterday one of these little charity jackets. Um, are for newborns um the cardiff um hospital back just before the whole virus thing started um posted um so you know, can you see how that knits up that was the that was the second one that i showed you so it knits up really prettily it's really sparkly so this is um this is a free pattern it's called the babbity jacket and it's a top down pattern so if you're knitting it you're going to knit you start knitting at the neck and you'll pick up your stitches but it's an uh, to do the sleeves but it is an incredibly easy pattern to do 
really really easy to do um it you know if you can garter stitch you don't even have to pearl this bit if you want if you can just garter stitch just normally knit you could make these and these are charity um it's a charity pattern um they are um, i'll put a link onto our facebook page um for the exact pattern for you but it is free on ravelry so if you go onto ravelry um then we can um you pop, pop in babbity jacket and it's in lots of different sizes so there's the preemie size and then sort of newborn and three to six and nine to 12 months, etc. And they were asking for preemie and newborn sizes. So if anybody's got a stash of wool or if you want to go on a website and order any wool, um, I am going to be putting more on there soon. OK, and this is beautiful. Really, really lovely. Nice, easy knit. That that was a that was sort of a half evening knit yesterday. I've got a little bit left to do. I've got obviously got the sleeves to do and the bottom hem. OK, uh, make you like the idea of amigurumi. Absolutely. So um, I will hopefully next week um, I'll do a little bit of amigurumi for you and show you some of the stuff we've got um, for on Monday. I'm going to do some more crochet classes on Monday. So uh, Meg, I will do that for you on Monday. Sarah, are you making that for future grandchildren? <laughs> I wish. At some point, yes. Desperate for grandchildren. No pressure there, Rory and Cara. Um, <laughs> so... Um, no, this one's for charity though, Meg. I was just making this up just so you guys could see uh, see what the wool knitted up like. Um, but I'm I'm just basically doing it just for a little charity knit. You can see as well, I'm knitting on a circular needle. So even though it's not um, circular knitting, I tend to do all my knitting on circular needles, basically because they don't poke me and I get them out of the way. Okay, so that's the twinkle prints. Okay, so I'm going to move these out of the way. Oh, hang on, let's move these out of the way. And then the other things that have just gone onto the website yesterday are these new sock yarns. Again, they're from um, James C. Brett, and these are the colours we've got in. They're called Funny Feets, and they will knit up um, in stripes. Okay, so we will get like a variegated stripe, not quite as uh, as bold as in, on the label, but it does come up as a stripe. Um, so they're, they're self-striping, okay? Um, I really enjoy knitting socks. They're they're one of my favourite things to do. Um, so I'm just going to turn you back round again, guys. Okay, so you can see me. Hi. So I really enjoy knitting socks. Um, it was something I struggled with for years and years um, until we went to um, the Exeter show about three years ago and met up with um, Owl About Yarn. Um, who is based in Sully, so not far from here at all. And she's online um, and she does some amazing sock yarns. She does hand dyed sock yarns, okay? Um, and she actually um, has herself and Pins and Needles Zoe, who um, they kind of pointed me in the right direction. So I do uh, Magic Loop with my, my socks. And again, I'll pop a um, link onto our Facebook page. So they suggested um, that I follow a YouTube tutorial from Very Pink Knits and they show you how to magic loop socks with a circular needle and revolutionised my sock making because I'd always really, really struggled with it and not enjoyed it at all. And now it's one of my favourite things to do. Um, so I'm just going to actually show you some bits that I did um, with some of their wool and also. Hi, Sandra. Um, yeah, Meg, it's not easy socks, is it? You've got it. You've got to kind of. Uh, but um, yeah, they are the lovely, lovely ladies the, the Owl About Yarn and Pins and Needles are their um, Ravelry tags and also the Instagram tags. Um, they run knitting retreats in Cardiff as well. So it's always worth checking them out. But again, I will put links on our Facebook page to everything. So I'm going to flip you back around a second. OK, so there we go. Flip you back around. So this is one was one of Owl About Yarn's um, hand dyed skeins of wool and my very very first sock now they are a bit they are clean don't worry they are clean <laughs> they've just come out to wash but i wear these to death and i'm not a sock person as a lot of you know i'm a i'm a barefoot all the time person but when i do need socks hand knitted socks there is something so so cozy about them and this wool was absolutely beautiful can you see it's got a little bit of sparkle in it this was um, again this was a pattern online on Ravelry called um, I think it was vanilla latte socks which was a nice easy simple one however if you are new to it and you really want to start your sock um, knitting I'm going to suggest you guys go onto Ravelry okay and look up as requested socks 
by Zoe Carter. That's Pins and Needles. So it's a, it's a tag on Instagram and Ravelry. Okay. It's one of the best little guides for a basic vanilla sock. Okay. It literally tells you exactly how to modify it all. And then you've got a full pattern at the back. Okay. Um, hi, Maria. It says, I have one sock and a small loop needle and another on DPA, the DMPs. Uh, the loop is easier. Yeah, I find it so much easier. I tend to lose double pointed. So um, all the time they fall out and then I lose my stitches. Um, never knew what size you're supposed to do. Um, so always again with the sock size needle, go with what it says on the back of the yarn. So like on this one, on this sock yarn here, can you see here it says, so this one you would use a 3.25, okay? And if you're doing magic loop, it doesn't matter what size cable you're using because the excess cable sticks out the side. And um, once you've kind of seen it done, that will make more sense. But for this um, sock yarn that we've got in stock at the moment, this funny feats one, um, it is um, it's a 3.25. OK, um, we have just got the three colours at the moment, but they are lovely. You've got a nice sort of blokey, quite sort of uh, ruggedy one there, which has got greens and blues on. Quite a pretty one that's got like some corals and purples and then this really lovely one which i really like actually it's kind of what all sort of blues and navies can you see that okay so it's fab they are four ply and they are 550 a ball okay so they are on our website under the yarn section along with the twinkle prints but do if you are if you've never done socks before don't be put off by them okay i would suggest going on to ravelry and getting zoe's pattern okay um and then having a go at it because it's really I, I absolutely love it it's one of my favorite things to do in the world okay so i'm gonna just flip you back around again ladies okay how is everybody everybody all right today everybody feeling well enjoying the sunshine have you been out in your gardens because it is nice out there okay how you, how are you all please do let me know if you're there um if you've got any questions at all can i answer any questions for you um did you any of you watch the sew along yesterday we had some really beautiful samples sent in actually really lovely samples um so yeah i think i posted most of the ones that come in but if not they were on the comments um it was amazing to see all the different color combinations and how just how pretty they are when they're in different different colorways things i'd never would never have thought put together myself so it was lovely to see so thank you for all you guys for joining in um maria uh also diff difficulty with some patterns ask if you have a small medium or large foot <laughs> yeah so the nice thing about zoe's pattern is that um she shows you exactly how to measure your foot and what your ratios and all are so if you've got really wide feet she she tells you how to you know make your socks slightly wider if you've got extra long feet if you're making them from somebody who's got your really big feet and all it shows you all how to do it okay um so Meg, much better today. James in the garden with a chainsaw. Uh oh, <laughs> be careful. Okay, chainsaws. Ooh. <laughs> okay, uh, Fab, you're gonna have the ironing board in the same room. Yeah, it's a bit difficult if you've got to run it backwards and forwards. That's why I like the little mini irons. Um, you can sometimes pick them up in Lidl's really, really cheaply. I mean, I bought mine years ago, and it was a prim one, and it was quite expensive, it was like forty quid for a little tiny iron. But any small travel iron, have it set up as a, a, a by next to your sewing machine. It makes life so much easier. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you is some new Bambino wool that we've had in um, and some um, patterns as well. OK, so I'm going to flip you back around, ladies. There we go. So this is from Stylecraft. Here we go. Let's move these over so you can see and hopefully you can see the colours. I've, I've sat as close to the We can get some natural colours on here for you. Um, so there we go. So... This one here, which is the centre one, the pale pink, that is um, soft pink, it's called, and that's shade 7113. These are 100 gram balls, okay, and they're two. These aren't on the website at the moment, but I'm going to be putting them on this afternoon. Okay, so the soft pink is a shade they've had for quite a long time, but it's beautiful. It's like a vintagey pink. It's not like a real bubblegum in your face pink. It's really lovely, lovely. These two are their brand new shades. They only came out last week. If you want a more modern feel for your baby knitting, you've got this beautiful, beautiful all its seed, which is shade 1857, okay, which is like a sort of a soft tealy duck egg colour, really, really pretty. 
um, and I think would look beautiful on boys or girls actually. Um, and then this one, which is um, awesome avocado. It's actually more of a more of a mustardy colour than avocado to me because I don't see that there's any green in it. But and I always think of avocado as being green. All those hideous bathrooms that your grannies used to have in the seventies. Um, they are as soft as, as they look. They really are. The Bambino in particular is stunning. I absolutely love this wool. Um, the a lot, lot softer than I thought it was going to. It's it's really beautiful. Um, and the sock yarn has actually got bamboo in it as well. So again, really nice and comfy. I don't know if you can see it's got wool, polyamide and bamboo in it. And bamboo is extra soft. So that's fab for your um fab for your toes okay so those are the three new shades in the bambino oh, sorry two new shades and and an old shade but those three are going on the website as well as some of the others we've got but i thought i'd show you some of the patterns um chris <laughs> your bathroom is avocado oh honey my granny had an avocado bathroom and it's one of those things that I do remember fondly because it was the strangest colour. <laughs> but we don't seem to do that anymore, do we? We all seem to have white bathrooms. So, But if you love it, you go for it. <laughs> uh, so what I thought I'd do is show you some of these new patterns um, from Stylecraft. This is a beautiful, beautiful baby blanket. And I know that Linda was um, waiting for this pattern to come in. So I will try and get this copy down over to her so that she can see it but you can see it's a beautiful baby blanket with hopefully you can see that because the light's hitting it there we go um beautiful baby blanket with like a cable and all over it okay and then to go with those new shades of bambino they've brought out some new got this one which is a lovely moss stitch little jacket again hang on there we go light shouldn't be shining on there with a matching hat and also a matching baby blanket. And then this one, which I think is just adorable. Really, really lovely. Which, look, a little dinosaur cardi. He's fabulous. Really, really lovely. I love the fact he's got, look, can you see? He's got little spikes running down the uh, hat of the, the cardi. Okay. And then there's a really pretty little one, which has got like a little scalloped edge on it like that okay oh excuse me so that's all the walls I've got to show you today I just thought I'd give you you know a little uh, a little um look at some of the stuff I know is cute that dinosaur only Meg I thought I'd give you a little look at some of the new stuff and like I said they will all go on the website and we are still posting out but I also for you sewers thought I'd so we've got in okay so um these again, um, these are going on. So they're normally twelve ninety five, but they will be in the sales section um, at ten pound for a charm pack. So for those of you, oh, hang on, I'm going to swip you back round just a minute. Okay, oh, where have you gone? There we go. Hi. So for um, those of you who don't know, a charm pack is a five inch square. Okay, it all comes from the same design range, um, which means it's all designed to coordinate together. They're all supposed to be. Um, together basically so it takes all the colors and things um and you get 42 five inch squares okay so i don't know if you can see this one here I love it. it's brand new from moda it's called rue 1800 it's by three sisters um it's stunning it's really assuming i got thread or a bit of yarn or something stuck in my mouth now i've got lipstick everywhere um hi taro hi marion oh Hi guys. Um, so they'll be going on the website at ten pound each. Okay, um, and I'm just going to flip you around and I'm going to take you through some of the colours. We've got this one which is called Llama Love. Okay, and I don't know if you. Hopefully you can see this. If I flick through it, it's all the most beautiful hearts and pinks and little mint greens in there. Okay. Oh, there we go. And then if I just, I don't know if I can move him. Hang on, let me see if, I can move him. And if you can see him. He's, there is some fabric. It's got a little llama on him. This one, right over. Let me see if I can find one that's got the llama on. Aha, there he is. Okay, can you see his little, he's lovely. Really, really lovely. Okay, so you've got over a metre, just over a metre and a half of fabric. 
in a charm pack okay so if you do nothing more than just sew the squares together you'd have a really lovely kit you know baby blanket or a lap blanket you could add sash into them they don't have to be overly complicated but there are lots and lots of patterns out there for charm packs okay so that one's llama love this one is, um by the three sisters one and this again is really really pretty but it's much gentler it's sort of pinks and um, there's some sort of mocha colors in there all sorts of mint greens really really fab and then this one again by Moda shop and this is uh, who's this one by Sweetwater and I really really like this it's kind of got like a well you know I like anything that's got a um, what's the word a, a script or a print on it so this one it's got lots of sort of um prints in there. Oh, I don't know. See, I don't know if you can see this one. Where is it? Oh, come back, come back. There we go. Look, you can see we've got like print almost like news newspaper print on it. And again, it's all sort of rich reds and navies and blacks and creams. And you've got a little touch of sort of a mockery, ochre colour in there as well. So those are all going on the website as well. They will be in the sale section because they are going to um be just £10. Okay, so they're normally £12.95, but any of those charm packs are going to be £10. Okay, so hi, right, back again. Oh, how's the new family edition doing? Who's that? About somebody had a baby? Who's had a baby? Or is it a puppy? A puppy might be better than a baby. Don't tell me with that. <laughs> okay, hi, Joe. Yeah, they're fab, aren't they? I'm really loving those charm packs, they're really good. Um, and again, they're in the, in the sales section. Um, so what else was I going to tell you about today? I've forgotten now. Oh, I sent a video. I did share it earlier by one of our, um, one of our customers, Marion. Her daughter is stuck out in Bolivia. She hasn't been out there since January and she's not been able to get back. So they're trying to raise awareness. So, um, yeah, so if you can share that little video around, that would be lovely of you all. Um, everybody staying safe though. Do you have any questions? Anybody got any questions at all? Anything you need answering? No? Nothing at all? No? You automatically see a fabric journal. Oh, yeah, nice idea. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um, jo, if um, any of you don't know, she runs um, Craft of Hearts, um, which is in uh, the Rhonda Heritage Park, I believe. And she does some um, she does some amazing things with power techs and all sorts of stuff. She's on her chander as well. So it's definitely worth... Um, popping onto Facebook and finding her, her page as well. So, um, yeah, so it's Rhonda Heritage Park. And I'm sure, Joe. actually, if you want to pop a link in the comments for me for your page, um, some of our ladies who are not, you know, most of them are sewers, but it's always nice to dabble in a new craft. So you can definitely have a little look at that as well. Um, Maria, do we have a new patch next week? Yes, absolutely. So um, tomorrow, I'll just go through what we're going to do. So tomorrow it's going to be back to Drew filming me because I'm going to need both hands. And oops, so you see both hands. Um, <laughs> and we're going to be doing some Man Manx patchwork tomorrow. OK, so you need some scraps of fabric. OK, um, I will put a th again, I'll put a thing on in a minute um, for the uh, on our Facebook page of what you're going to need. OK, but the thing with Manx, patch Manx patchwork is, is that there's no measurements or well, there is. But they're all the measurements of your hands. So I'm going to explain all that tomorrow. OK, so. Um, I will do a little tutorial um, for Manx Patchwork tomorrow. Again, obviously at one o'clock, same as usual. And that you'll either be able to watch or you'll be able to sew along with me. Sunday next week, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some bits on on Saturday, but Sunday there won't be a live video. I'm going to have a day off. Um, Monday, we're going to do some crochet again. Um, so I'm going to... I'm going to show you some amigurumi and how to do that on Monday. So Monday's going to be crochet. And then Wednesday, there will be another full sew along block. OK, and again, I will put all the cutting instructions on like we did before. And um, you'll be able to sew along with me. OK, um, that's all right. Uh, my pleasure, Joe. Um, yeah, go along and see um, Craft of Hearts on Facebook, guys, if you uh, if you like mixed media at all. Or if you uh, want to play with a new craft, that's definitely worth having a little look at. Um, so do I have any plans for this afternoon? Uh, plans for this afternoon is um, 
Well, I've got some work to do because um, we've got a Hachanda show on the 7th of April. And obviously because of um, the whole coronavirus thing, we're not able to go up to the studio. So we've got a lot of sewing to do, a lot of sewing to do to get all the finished samples ready and posted up to them in time. And I've got to plan out um, how we're going to film Sarah doing her demos as well. So because they're not doing live, they're not having guests online, they're doing... Um, uh, they're do asking us to do videos and um, send, in, send in the videos on and they'll play the videos during the show rather than us be there. So I've got to sort that out this afternoon. Um, so I've got quite a bit of sewing to do. Um, I've got some postage I've got to do because we've had some online orders. Remember, we are still doing online where we can. Uh, it's www.whitegeckocraftlounge.co.uk. Oh, we'll miss you too, Jackie. I know it's, we've had to cancel, obviously, our um, Modern Quilt Guild group on Sunday. So that's a real shame. Um, but yeah, so that's, um, yeah. But again, stay safe and stay indoors at the minute, isn't it? Um, yeah, so what else have I got to do? Um, what else have I got to do? Got lots of things to do today. Housework as well. Still got to do the housework. But the sun's out. And the cobwebs are showing, so I'm gonna really have to get. Um, Joe, it says it's crazy, isn't it? But fun. I have three voids to do. Three voids. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Let me know. <laughs> Heather, yeah, Manx patchwork. Yeah, um, you always want to try. It. Oh, that's brilliant. Fab. Um, cool. We yeah. So that's tomorrow. Manx patchwork is tomorrow, and I'm going to be using some old shirts um, in mine. So I've uh, cut up some old shirting material and um, went through the. Uh, through a bag of old clothes, cut up a load of shirts. So I'm going to be using shirting. So you can literally use anything for it. But if you've got cotton scraps you want to use there and everything. Oh, 30. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. This, uh, we're, um, we've got to start filming ours quite soon, actually, because it's uh, coming up quickly. So, uh, but yeah, it's uh, good luck with that, Joe. Um, and uh, what else is everyone saying? Maria, can't wait for the show. My daughter wants to make a chocolate lava cake this afternoon. Ooh, nice. Oh, I could do with some chocolate cake, definitely. Oh, maybe I'll, can I buy it? I can't be, I haven't got the time. I'm far too busy. So, I'm just going to go through once new bits that are going to go on the website. Um, and then let me know. Let me know. Flip my, flip back round. Oh, the baby twinkle prints. Okay. 